on me cause I'm popping This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not I'm not the same, thinking money made me change Nothing else to blame, bougie stuck up in my way Singing Gucci gang, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci gang Think I'm Gucci man Gosh Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we're gonna go up in a second. Yo, what's up, my explorers? It's your boy Nick here with Exploring Project Bad. Right now, we're in Wichita Falls at the old Bel Air. So we're gonna hit a few of these. This is the Bel Air Hotel. It was built in like the 1950s. Looks like they used to use this place, or it looks like they use this place as a storage now. We're gonna walk a few of the buildings, see what's up, and go across the street to the La Posada, or Posada, something like that. Look at this. Wow. Man, they put all the carpet, everything in here. He ripped it all up. Look at those little beds. Man, it's crazy being by yourself, especially so far away from home. But oh well. I mean, exploring is part of life, you know? Urban exploring, you know, the true heart of it is energy. There's the front door. Still has a glass on it too, that's so cool. So this used to be the office. 
Where you come in and get your room back in the day. This must have been like a hangout room. Wow, look at all this. Holy crap, that's Fred. All right, one thing y'all don't know is uh, I'm definitely a Fred Jones from Scooby-Doo Fanatic, all right? Scooby-Doo is my jam. I usually have it on my backpack, but I couldn't risk my backpack in here. First uh, Fred doll from Scooby-Doo I've ever seen. I still can't get over it. I want to take it home, but I'm going to leave it though. I can live without it, but I'm going to find one online. Alright, so there's this house over here. I'm not sure if it's abandoned or not. We're gonna get close to it and see what's up. And then we're gonna go across uh, then we're gonna go across the street to the La Posada. It is bright out and the snow's melt. I wonder if anyone lives there. And you know what to say? Let's go check it out. And then, not only that, I also have a abandoned budget, budget inn right there with the La Posada. I mean, there's so many abandoned places around here. This is like the perfect block. I'm not even playing. I'm super excited. All right, let's do this. All right, I guess we'll start with the bottom. Holy moly. Look down here. Jeez. Why is it I always find the most spooky stuff? This is just like a little treasure for me. So we're gonna go around, and make sure nothing bad happens. Ooh. This is crazy how they did this. Man, check those stairs, that's so creepy. I know I'm being a little bit quiet right now, but I'm listening to the floor. I'm listening to everything because this place has been deemed too dangerous. <laughs> so we're going to walk around a little bit more, see what's up, and uh, go from there. Whew. The things I do for y'all, I swear. Don't forget about me. Whew. Alright, that's an old trunk. Look at that. That's old, old. Alright, y'all. One more uh, hotel, motel, and then we're gonna cross the street. Look at all this old stuff in here. It's crazy. You know, it really makes you wonder why people just up and abandoned their stuff or dip out or th why things don't work and all right we're going in y'all whoop through the window over to a desk Woo. oh wow this is like somebody's house holy moly all right 
Welcome to the Budget Inn, y'all. This was built in 1950. Got abandoned sometime, like again, it's hard to find any information on this place. So again, leave it in the comments. Yo, my explorers, right now we're about to head back across the street to the La Posada. So now we just hit two abandoned motel hotels. Now we're about to hit a abandoned apartment complex that got shut down for seedy environment, gang activity, drugs, prostitution, no joke, you name it, across the street was doing it. Maybe another reason why some of these other places shut down, who knows? But right now, we're going to the third spot. Like I ain't playing, I just gave you three in one video, y'all. Hope you enjoy it. Man, check out that bus. I gotta check out the bus. When I was 16, me and two buddies of mine, we ended up buying a 1965 GMC yellow bus. Like 35 feet long, no joke. Tricked it out, put couches in, skateboard out the back. It was awesome. I definitely had a colorful childhood. All right, here we go. Everybody in here? Oh man. Has a couch. Woo, look at that. That's so cool. Heck yeah. That is legit. I'm going to the back, I don't care. Woo! Damn. Get me back to the old days. Yeah, they turned out using this place as a junkyard pretty much. I mean, it's pretty cool if you get to see a couple of the postcards online. Sorry for squinting. It's been a bright one today. So now we're about to go to the Posada. Let's do this. Woo! All right, we're going in. Oh yeah, we're gonna go up in a second. Woo! The Posada, you doing it. You doing it right. Look at all this old stuff. Dude, people came in here and just smashed glasses, bro. That sucks. In the old fireplace. Looks like they bricked it in. Furniture home. Sober living. Look at that. Yeah. That's probably the least I've heard about sober living here. All right, here we go. So this is where the people who ran the place used to live. You see the Bel Air Hotel, the abandoned house, then right over there is the Budget Inn. And we're in the La Posada right now, walking around. So, let's see how she goes. Oh, wow, look at that. Just a sunroom or something? That's pretty cool. Now we're gonna go and check out what's in these apartments. Like something you 
see off the Walking Dead. Man, this is so weird. I mean, like they still got some power in some of these places, so not all of them were abandoned. Kind of weird. I hope I don't run into any trouble. Wow, look at this one. The snow did wonders. Oh, well, it's a basic little room. Nothing too special. Fridges, decent old couches, and somebody's boot. Let me get over there. We will try in a second. Keep going. So, there's a few more places here in Wichita Falls to check out. For all my other urban explorers, I got like nine places, and this is four all in one. Off. Right here for parking. Wow, finding so many beds. Yeah, this is just your pretty much run down, drug addict, prostitution type of uh, apartments here. So, I mean, they don't even have them locked off. But I see some electricity in some of the places, so it's kind of a sketchy situation. Right in here? Damn. I really let this one have it. Well, there's people who still live in these. There's people who are living in these still and I'm just walking around with a camera. <laughs> Oh well, I don't mean any harm for the most part. Yo guys, so that was three abandoned places, actually four, four abandoned places in one spot. Can you beat it? I don't think so. Man, this whole block is just live. I'm gonna try and see if I can get us into a mansion or an old mill, but no matter what, this looks like a job for me and Ryan to come back to. Woo! I still got five more spots in this town. Yeah.